Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Harper, which is a really powerful tool. And a lot of the prompts are specifically designed for SEO. As you can see here, we can do so much. So I'm going to talk you through each of these prompts. The first thing you need to do is install it to your Chrome extension so you can get the AI agent for free on Harper.ai. And it is pretty much endless what you can do with this. So we're going to run you through some of the best use cases today to speed up your SEO workflow and get more done in less time. So. Once it's installed, you'll see a lot of different things you can do. You can actually add your own API key there. I'm going to move my head over there so that I'm no longer blocking the way. And then what you can do is if you click on slash and then dot, 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 you've actually got a list of all the prompts that you can use for SEO now. So there are actually a lot of prompts like you can use this for email replies, rewrite, translating stuff to English, composing. We're going to be focusing mainly on the marketing and SEO stuff for now. One of the best things you can do is extract and research SEO keywords. So you can find keywords in your competitor's article and then perform keyword research and you find like the keyword density and LSI keywords from that page. So if we take one of my articles, for example, and we take a look through it and we hit Harper like this, we're going to click on forward slash and then dot scroll to marketing and SEO. And there are so many different reports we can use here. And the use case for this is that you can analyze your competitors. You can see what they're doing. You can easily figure out your research and you don't really need to pay for a fancy expensive SEO tool. This is all free to do, which is crazy. Democratizes the power of everything. So what you can do is if we take this article, for example, and you can see you can insert max 3000 symbols. So we're going to press enter like this. And what it does is it takes the content we've got. I've not pasted the whole thing in, because it's quite a long article, but you can see that it's given us the keyword, the density and the LSI keywords for each of these keywords in the page, right? So it's automatically extracted everything. And then this is a more scientific way to approach your content optimization because you can see, okay, my competitor has X amount of keyword density and X amount of LSI keywords, and therefore I should go for those too. And it's like a phrase or surfer SEO alternative that's in your browser that you can do in the moment, very quick, doesn't take long to load. And when you're doing competitor analysis, it's so powerful. Now, there's so much more to this tool. It's really interesting. So you can create a keyword report. So you can create a keyword report, an SEO content plan using your keywords. So if you say my keyword is best bluebird feeders, and now based on that keyword, we get a bunch of other keywords that we could go for. And it breaks down the keyword, the search intent, the title, and the meta description. And if we hit the maximize button like this, you can switch between a bigger version of the screen so that we can see more of it, extends the table. And then it breaks down the type of content, the search intent. So you can easily figure out, is this a money page? Is it a transactional page? Is it an informational page? And not only that, but you get a recommended title, meta description, and keyword. A lot of time to be saved there. And there's just an endless number of SEO prompts you can use for this, all pre-plugged into Harper, which is so cool. So you can outrank SEO articles as well. So this prompt gives you an in-depth SEO optimized article. And basically what you need to do is go to your competitor's page and then run this command. Let's take an example. Let's say you're trying to rank for gardening tips. So we'll scroll to this page, click on the top result, open up Harper like this, get rid of that pop-up, open up the prompts. So many pop-ups on this page. It's endless. So if you have a specific product in mind, you can write it in here and then surely describe it. And if you want to customize your content to it, otherwise you can leave that empty, pass the description from the web page. So we'll leave it empty just as an example. And now Harper's actually going to start writing an article and you've got the headings here. So the subheadings is split up. It's nicely formatted. The content is actually not bad. Like it's definitely readable. And you can see how quick that was. You could even come up with a whole six month marketing SEO plan. And you can do this based on your competitor's page. Otherwise, you can enter a list of keywords you want to rank for. So if we leave this empty and we just press end, you've basically got a whole SEO marketing strategy and you've even got Harper pretending to be an SEO strategist. And then it's identified top keywords that you need to go after. So you've got a list here and then you've got your comprehensive six month SEO strategy, which recommends you focus on different areas. So you've got month one, here's what you need to do. Technical, on page, off page, month two, and even a breakdown of the tools that you should be using as well. Then you've got month two, month three, month four, month five, month six, and the expectations of that. This is a rough draft, obviously. You can't follow it step by step. It's not like you've got your, heart, your SEO strategy here. You're good to go now. You just go off and execute it because you need to apply a bit of common sense for this. And there's a bit of a knowledge gap between actually being able to use these tools and executing these three things. But a rough draft is really good. If you are an agency, I bet there's a lot of SEO agencies who just take this information, design it up nicely, and then send it off to a client for an expensive price. 
We don't charge for SEO audits or our agency, but you get the idea. So many opportunities and so many different things you can do with it. Now, if you're an SEO agency or you're an Amazon affiliate, you can use Harper's pre-create prompts to write product descriptions very quickly. So if we scroll down here, we can create SEO friendly product descriptions and you can basically write optimized product descriptions based on the product features on the page. And there you go. You've got your review content ready to go there. You could see a table of pros and cons. As you scroll down, you've got a list of pros and cons, nice comparison table. You can just paste that into your article along with this content as well. It's so easy to generate product review content. And I think for the future of SEO, you've got access to this tool, right? It's very easy. It's free. It doesn't cost you any resources. It only costs you time and not even a long time at that. I think where SEO is going now is that it needs to be really opinionated. So if you're generating content and you want it to be evergreen and ranked forever, then you need to add more value than an actual AI tool can do. So when you're creating articles now, it's important to add your own spin. I think this is why if you look at like the top affiliate websites that actually review products, they buy the products themselves, they get their own unique content with pictures and review videos and stuff like that. And they operate at a whole different level because anyone can go on to Amazon, compare all the content created themselves. And yes, that can rank, but long-term for the longevity of your website, you really have to think, how can I differentiate my content from everyone else's? How can I add my unique spin to it? And how can I make this more interesting than most people? Because right now you can rank this type of content, but if everyone has access to it, it's no longer unique. And the playing field for content is going to be very level. The other thing I would say as well is if you look at some of my case study websites, for example, like this one, that just runs purely on AI content. One of the biggest differentiators on the site is not the content because anyone can generate that type of content, right? It's just AI generated. But at the same time, it's all about number of backlinks you get to your site. Because if you've got authority, Google trusts you more, it's easier to rank content that's just mediocre or not that unique. Whereas if you were like a domain rating website of zero, it'd be very hard to rank your content because everyone else is doing the same thing. And if they're not doing it now, they will be in a few months. So there's a short window here. And it's really important to make sure you're building authority to your site. And when you're doing content, you have to make it evergreen and creative. That doesn't mean you can't use AI in the process, but it does mean you need something to make yourself unique because now it's just too easy to create content. You could even go through your old content. So if you were looking at your existing content and you were trying to see how can I improve this? One of the biggest reasons that a lot of content doesn't rank is because it doesn't match the search intent. And what people are typing into might not match up with the problem they're trying to solve in your content. So what you can do is for free, you can type in site colon chipper birds, and then we can go to one of our old articles like this. And if it wasn't getting any content, we can open up and we scroll down, let's find it, let's find it. And if you go to the content analyzer prompt like this, you can evaluate and audit an article to understand if you match that user intent. So you can just hit page text like that. And then you just type in the keyword you're trying to rank for this particular page. For example, like this one is about English budget. So we type it in here and now it gives us a breakdown in terms of relevance, expertise, and authority. And overall, what's the overall grade for this content? So for example, we could add more links in here. We can make it more relevant and we can just grade our content. It's quite useful if you're hiring, right? And then they create an article for you and you can quickly use Harper to analyze the page text and then see, right, has a writer written in terms of the search intent that's required? rather than you reading like a whole 3000 word article yourself manually. Speeds up the editing process, makes everything easier, very powerful. There are tons of other tools. Like for example, if you wanted to promote your SEO content on Instagram, if you wanted to come up with TikTok ideas, YouTube ideas, it's pretty much endless what you can do. Here. Video scripts, blog posts, article sections. If you're an e-commerce store and you want to write some product descriptions, you can use this. And it's pretty much endless. So make sure you check this out. Very powerful. I think a lot of people are not talking about its full potential and it has so much to offer. Plus it's free and it's better than most SEO tools I've seen. So thanks very much for watching. If you want a free course on ChatGPT prompts and how to rank your website higher with ChatGPT, feel free to get this. I will leave a link in the description. It's completely free. Feel free to opt in now. Appreciate you watching as always and thank you.